this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading that was meant to pop up on your feed right now for a reason. So what we're going to do in this reading is we're going to look into the card that you choose to kind of see what's going on right now, like where you're at in your path, what influences are surrounding you, what energy is affecting you in your life. And then based off of that information, I'm just going to freestyle draw you some cards for some advice or for your next step or just whatever message you need to hear right now. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Of course, always trust your own intuition and your own inner guidance above all else. And if you're new here, I would love for you to join the Rainbow Fam. All you have to do to be a part of the Rainbow Fam is just subscribe and of course, like this video as well if you'd like to see me do more of these. I put out pick a card readings like this and other content almost every day. It's always free always uplifting and inspiring and insightful and I would love for you to come on this tarot journey with me. So if you guys are ready to participate in this reading, all you have to do is choose the card that you feel drawn to the most. So today you're literally going to pick the card that you feel drawn to the most. Maybe it's maybe you know a little bit, a bit about tarot and so you know what the card is or maybe it's the picture on the card that you're really feeling called to or the energy of the card. You don't have to think too much about it. Trust that your intuition will help you to choose the right card. So we've got number one, number two, number three, and number four. If you choose number one, we're going to get started right away. And if you choose any of the other numbers, head to the comments below where my lovely subscribers help me by posting the timestamps. Thank you guys so much for your help with that. You can help as well by when you see the timestamps, just give it an upvote so it goes to the top of the list. So we're going to start with number one. So for those of you guys who choose number one, what is going on right now in your surroundings? What energy is affecting you? Where are you at on your life path? And we have the seven of wands right here. So the number seven in numerology has to do with a period of introspection or solitude. Also, there could be a lot of sudden events that are kind of happening in your life unexpectedly, things coming out of the blue, whether you perceive this as a positive thing or a negative thing. A lot of random things are just happening around you that seem a little out of the blue. So you've been thinking a lot lately. Um, you are really focused on the thoughts that are coming in your head. You might be planning something or you could be at the very beginning stages of some type of new project, getting ready to kind of take the first steps um, on your path um, with some kind of shift that's going on right now. So there's a focus right now in your life around maybe love affairs, taking a trip or receiving clarity, working on your finances. There could be a little bit of pressure surrounding you related to your work, or any schedules you have or commitments right now. And what you're desiring really is a clear cut direction. You need like a yes or no answer right now, or you might be looking for a commitment on part of another person. So if this has to do with romance, you are definitely thinking about love right now and what it would be like to live with somebody or to get married to them. Um, I also feel like if love isn't really happening right now in your life or if you're feeling very settled or secure in a relationship, this could be a card that's saying that 
there could be some problems right now with your family or perhaps finances or business plans, your schedule right now might be taking you by surprise. For instance, you know, you might get called into work unexpectedly. You could be working overtime right now. You could have extra commitments or be a little stressed, um, being pulled in many different directions. So it's like you're juggling your work, your appointments, social uh, affairs, um, but you're doing this successfully. You're doing a really great job at it. That's kind of a message from this card is you're doing really well. This flame here is like a symbol that like you're on fire, like you're getting things done, you're checking things off your to-do list. Um, and maybe right now you're kind of dreaming about a trip or a vacation. You could be spending your time thinking about trips or thinking about vacations, even if this is something you're planning on doing a couple months from now or even in the summer. Okay. <clears throat> I also feel like you're doing a really great job right now completing your projects. You are handling your financial matters successfully. Um, something that could be on your mind, once again, going back to love, is you want some type of serious commitment from someone. You might be having a tug of war, trying to figure out what your heart wants, what your head wants, all that good stuff. Um, you're also kind of feeling like no matter what's getting in your way right now, you're just on a roll. You're on a roll, nothing's gonna stop you, nothing's gonna get in your way. You really are needing to find some time for pleasure right now in your life, something that will kind of liberate you from your work demands. Um, going back to love again, it's very possible someone will tell you that they love you or that someone will propose or will call you up or hit you up to ask like will you move in with me or something kind of like that so there's just a lot going on right now in your life you're definitely trying to accomplish a lot at once you could be your your health could be a little affected right now um you know maybe you might be very sensitive to food at this time you might not be getting enough sleep um your financial obstacles right now could be a little intense. You might be feeling financially burdened, but this card has a really good message that there is some type of check coming or some type of settlement coming or basically like whatever your financial issue is right now, it's going to be settled. Your energy is really great. You're putting really good momentum out there. Trust that you're going to receive what you need. Okay, I'm seeing some good energy with your friends right now. You could be meeting new friends or your friends are going to be there for you during this time. Um, once again, going back to love, if you haven't fallen in love, there's definitely someone who's going to come in and sweep you off your feet. So it just really feels like you're aligned right now. It feels like you're hustling, you're moving forward, you've got the momentum going, you're probably a little tired, probably a little stressed, but... Things are moving forward for you in love or love is coming in your life. Finances are moving forward. Um, and I do kind of feel like there's some type of exciting news coming, some type of important decision you're going to be making. Um, and this is going to bring a huge feeling of satisfaction or accomplishment or put some type of end to problems. It's definitely a time of new beginnings, but I feel like you've already been on this path for a little while. So it's like the beginning stages of a path you recently committed to. There's going to be a lot of success right now for you and like all of your negotiations, all of your financial tr transactions, you know, money that you owe is going to be paid. Um, there's a lot of luck with you right now in your fortune. There's a lot of blessings right now um, heading towards you. So... Um, Right now, let's go ahead and pull some cards for you to kind of just help you through this time. I mean, this is such a positive reading. It's, it's really just keep on keeping on. But what's going to help you through this energy? What's going to help you move forward at this time? What do you need to know? Wow, you're getting some really great cards. I kind of feel this message almost. I kind of felt like I wanted to tell you like I'm proud of you. Like almost like I'm proud of you because... To me, it just feels like you've worked really, really hard for this. And you spent a long time making up your mind um, to get to the place you're at now. And I just want to tell you that this path is going to pay off. So you're going to get a lot more satisfaction in your life right now through working on self-improvement versus trying to change external conditions. I kind of feel like 
you've planted a seed it's going to take time for it to grow you're working very hard like i mentioned you're getting momentum going you might not see a lot changing right now so that could be frustrating um but working on self-improvement right now is going to be very very important so anything that's internal such as working on maybe meditation or um, healthy eating or exercise could help you right now kind of blow off some of that stress or working on your sleep your health journey of course working on mindfulness um, maybe taking up some yoga right now, just a little bit of stretching every day or reading books before you fall asleep that are just scrolling through your feed, um, you know, on Instagram or whatever. Maybe get, pick up a book that's like opening your mind or helping you feel at peace or is giving you some information that's like improving your life. That could really help right now. Focusing on the inside is going to be good for you as far as like a step forward. Um, so there's like this movement stirring inside of you that could probably be causing a lot of anxiety because there's so much going on and there's a lot of change and it's like you're very perceptive and you feel like something big is going to happen and like we've seen in, in this card, there's a lot coming for you right now. Um, so there's a change that's happening with you on the inside, but your outer reality is going to change. I say on the channel a lot, as within, so without, as above so below when you're working a lot on your inner state like you have been and you'll continue to your outer reality is going to change so i see some things changing for you um this is telling you as far as a step forward any challenges that come onto your path transmute that energy take that energy and realize that in your life, some of your greatest achievements are going to be born out of your frustration. So it's taking that fire, that energy, and turning it into something positive. As another course of action to find balance, ignore any opposition. At the time that I'm doing this reading, it's Mercury retrograde. Okay, and this is a timeless reading. So if it's not Mercury retrograde or you're seeing this weeks or months after it's been posted, you are still meant to see it. There could still be an energy going on out there, but basically, if you're seeing this message right when I'm posting it or the weeks after I posted it, um, yes, there's there's Mercury retrograde, so a lot of things are going to be not as they appear. There could be setbacks. There could be delays. I literally just went on a flight, and it got delayed, um, and I had to spend 24 hours traveling instead of just eight hours. It was crazy. So I definitely am feeling this energy right now, but this says don't let anything vary you from your course. Take steps towards commitment. Committing is very important to you right now. Refuse to accept anything less than what feels right to you and your truth. Be true to yourself. So we're seeing this balance card that's telling you also to take your time. There's no need to rush. So I just feel like in the end, you're gonna triumph. All the matters that are around you right now will conclude successfully and you're gonna be happy with the outcome. You've got the star here. You've got this beautiful card here about um, love or union, happiness, commitment. Um, and this is saying, don't be afraid to move forward right now. There's there's magical opportunities around you. You might be feeling a little discontent with your life or where you find yourself, but you will find some resolution, okay? So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose number two, we're gonna go ahead and see what is going on right now in your life, what energy is surrounding you, um, any messages that this card here has to reveal to you. We're really focusing specifically on this card today, um, but we might pull some clarifiers as well. So the card that you were drawn to is the Nine of Wands. So in numerology, the number nine means that a situation or an event is nearing completion. Um, and so this is kind of an endings and beginnings card. So you are definitely so close. I mean, look at this. It's like you, this card here literally means you've climbed this, these steps and you're right here just about to take the final step 
So you're so close. With this card comes a message of don't quit five minutes before the miracle or transformation is coming all around you. You could be asked to let go of something right now or to move um, to a place that's uh, even a little uncomfortable, like to get out of your comfort zone a little bit at this time. So the focus right now is on your stamina and on your self-discipline and on your courage and on your faith. All, everything around you may not be what it appears to be at this time. It's, it's literally taking that leap of faith right now, okay? So you're gathering your strength. There's also a message of timing here, like waiting for the best time or awaiting for the right moment to act. Um, you really want to bear fruit right now in your life. You want to get that harvest. You want to so socialize. You want to be out, you know, in the world. You want your, your health to improve. Your health could be a little eh right now because of this whole journey. I mean, you start on the first two steps, you're feeling great. You get up here, you're a little out of breath. So your body could be a little stressed. Maybe there's something going on with the adrenals right now. So that's something I'm kind of seeing. Um... Um, there could be some type of cancellation of an appointment or some type of <clears throat> call that never comes. Like there is this energy of something disappointing that's recently happened or that could happen um, that sets you back, that's frustrating. There's also this energy of maybe a friend of yours can turn out to be someone that is really not so friendly, is actually an enemy or someone that doesn't have your best interests at heart. That's kind of why I feel that endings kind of vibe, like the need to walk away from dishonest people, the need to walk away from dishonest uh, disso associations. So that's kind of what you've been going through at the time. Okay, um, I definitely feel like, and this is so funny because at the time that I'm doing this message, it's Mercury retrograde. If you find this reading at some other time, you're still meant to see it, um, even if it's not Mercury retrograde, but if you are watching this at the time of Mercury retrograde, we're going into love and romance now and it's very possible that like an old love or an old admirer of yours um, could hit you up, could want to see you again, could someone could come back in your life in love. Um, I feel like love is very complicated right now. There could be two people who are trying to um, win your heart over. You're trying to figure out this dilemma. Should I be with this person or should I be with this person? You might have to break someone's heart in order to move forward right now or even break your own heart. Maybe there's someone that you know just isn't right for you or you need to move on from at this time right now. Um, yeah, it's... Whew. It's kind of intense, but in the, the personal life, in the emotional life right now, I'm feeling for you. However, in work and career, that area of your life is looking really, really good. This is a message saying that you are going to be someone who's going to be able to make money at your craft or through your artwork, and you're going to be able to promote yourself and your business. So marketing yourself right now or coming up with your business plan or continuing on this path is very important for you right now. Um, also, I'm just going to shout, shout it out for a couple of you guys out there that are looking into doing tarot or looking into maybe selling like crystal jewelry or thinking about doing Reiki or something that has to do with healing or even the metaphysical industry. If you're one of those people, then this is a message. Definitely go for it. Um, if you're not and you're not being called to that, don't worry. Just ignore that part of the message. Not everyone is called to that. But if you've already been thinking about it, if it's already been kind of laid on your heart, then this is a message to go for it. So yes, we've got so much going on. I feel like there's even more messages coming out from this card the more that I look at it. Um, you know, emotionally, you are feeling a little bit dissatisfied by confusing issues in your life, by delays, by adversity. Um, you are right now, something that's making you feel better is giving to others. Um, and so you might be giving back to your community. You might be thinking about how you want to help others right now, whether it's just donating to a cause or spending some of your time um, helping out in the community. This could be a good time for you to get rid of clutter. For you to be like to go through your home get rid of clutter and that can help improve the energy around you 
to donate items, to organize things, to dust, and like you can give back to your community that way by donating. Um, and also it can clean up some of the, your energy and quite literally clean your situation around you. Um, you're definitely gonna have enough money right now to get by, and maybe that's just what you're doing, but very soon an opportunity will come to make more. And I feel like this opportunity will present itself within three or four weeks from the time that you receive this reading. So there's this need for you to kind of just hang on and just be open. Um, because of all this stress in your life, you might be feeling a little run down, you might be sick. I personally, I don't know if you can tell, I'm getting over a cold, so my voice could be cracking in this reading, but um, I'm definitely seeing a message about some of you guys maybe needing to change physicians to correct some type of misdiagnosed problem. If, if you've already, if you're not happy with your physician or your healthcare provider, remember that you have the power to be able to find someone that works well or clicks well with you. Some of you guys who are getting therapy might even need to seek a new therapist or something like that. But trust yourself because that message is not for everyone. Trust your doctors and whatnot, but getting a second opinion isn't bad. Um, so don't worry. I feel this message to tell you not to worry because in the next couple of weeks, there's going to be a major change in either your love life, in your activities, in your attitude, in your health, um, or maybe even in all of the above. Okay. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of calls right now. You're going to be getting a lot of like, there's going to be so much constant movement in your life. Um, if any of you guys are waiting for some type of document or some type of manuscript or looking for a reply to something or something you applied to, that answer will come through as well, but you might need to wait just a little while. Um, so there's an anxiety I'm kind of sensing with this card of you, you kind of feel like you have no choice. You just have to wait for your efforts to kind of bear that fruit, for that harvest to come. There could be someone who isn't communicating at all with you, or in love, you could find out the person you're seeing or interested in is seeing someone else, or there's a worry about that. So there are a lot of issues going on right now. Um, the biggest disappointment I feel is like you just have to wait before more progress is made, okay? Um, now, as far as any like blessings coming in your life, I definitely see you um, getting some type of advice that has to do with your health that is going to be helping you a lot. Okay, this could be a good time to, whoop. <laughs> whoops, this could be a good time for you to like seek the health advice that you need. Um... I also see in the distance some type of opportunity for you to be able to do what you really want to do after a really long period of hard work and just exhausting labor, okay? So let's get your advice. There's a lot of messages coming out. Let's get some advice on how you can kind of move forward, what is needed from you to move forward and to just be able to flow past this energy and to feel just kind of at one with life again and to feel balanced. Okay, so there's definitely this message of like, if at first you don't succeed, try again, okay? There is gonna be some good news about business, love, finances, but it might come after some kind of blow or some kind of shock, okay? I also see this need for you to move forward. This says indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. I mean, wow. I just wanted to read that because I feel like that's so spot on with some of the other messages we got from this card. It seems like you're really needing to just stay on purpose and really hone in on your intentions at this time. 
there's going to be a lot of blessings and rewards. It says, don't worry, plans are going to work out perfectly. The ideas you've had are leading you to a lot of rewards and to just being in a really great place. We all love the sun. It's the most positive, happy, uplifting card in the entire tarot. Um, and it says, look, happy news about your career, promotions or scholarships. Once again, good plans that are that are working perfectly, but you need a little push to get going. So here's kind of what I see with this card. Basically, you've made it so far. There's no option really to turn around and go back. And I think you know that. It's like kind of being at this step right here and being exhausted, but realizing like you you got to just keep going. You, you, you know, I feel like the biggest thing right now is the waiting. It's like this time of waiting and you're worried because that's kind of where you're at. But if you would just keep going, remember, don't quit five minutes before the miracle. If you would just keep going, you're going to get there. There's basically no way around it. You're going to have to wait. You're going to have to keep on keeping on. I don't see any major decisions that need to be made right now. Um, this is talking about maybe indecision or be doubting your situation. This says don't doubt your situation. Just keep moving forward. You're already doing all the things. A lot of the energy around you that's causing stress will naturally clear itself up. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with other people versus you. You might not be the, be the one who needs to make the choice. You might just need to kind of sit back and be the observer uh, observer and let things kind of settle around you. That's kind of the energy I'm seeing right now. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose this card, this is the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So let's see what the deal is with this card. We're gonna kind of see what's going on in your life, kind of get some predictions based off this card, just any messages that are coming through for you. And then we will draw a couple of clarifiers on like what you need to do to best um, kind of shape and mold this energy as you move forward, okay? So this eight is a positive number. It indicates a really positive change of mind. Um, everyone loves the eight, you know, it's that, that number of infinity. It's, it's, it's like a number of abundance. Okay. So I feel like with this card, your focus right now in your life is on receiving assistance or backing for some type of project or some type of idea. You could be taking some type of financial risk right now. You're wanting to enlarge your finances. I mean, we're seeing pentacles. So pentacles oftentimes have to do with your lot in life, your finances, okay? But we'll get some other messages too. Um, you could be looking for employment or <clears throat> trying to do some type of major accomplishment. You wanna better your life right now. You're focused on that. You might be trying to bring in friendship or romance right now. Your desire overall is that you just want your enterprises, like everything you're doing to be successful. You want things to go well, okay? And yes, everybody desires that, but <clears throat> funny enough from these other readings I've been doing, that isn't what a lot of other people are focused on, like specifically for you, literally, you, you're really thinking about success. And this could be like your stability. I'm thinking root chakra, your stability, success with your career, success with finances, you want things to go well, okay? Now moving on to love. Love could be a little difficult right now. Um, I'm not really feeling that grounded energy in this part of your life, but there could be someone who is coming in right now, who is going to be like the best part of your life. There might not be anybody right now, but I do feel like you are in a great place to attract romance, okay? If you're already in a relationship, I feel like this there's a peaceful energy there because I feel peace around your love life in general for this card. Um, but if you're single, I really see you attracting someone very soon. So you could be really surprised by the entrance of some type of romantic interest coming in. Um, so I definitely see that. I feel like right now you might be considering taking some type of trip 
or thinking about going somewhere because I'm seeing like a car or I'm seeing a plane or I'm seeing like a road trip. Um, I know for a lot of us, we're heading towards the holiday season. So maybe you're thinking about maybe I'll go home for the holidays and you weren't planning on doing that. Or maybe you're thinking instead of going home, I'll go with friends or I'll go take a trip or I'll do something a little different this year or I'll take the family somewhere for the holidays. So this could be a time where you're really starting to think about that. Um, some of you guys could be traveling with someone special. You could be traveling over the holidays or over the next couple months with someone like road tripping or, or with some, like with a new love or something like that. I, I definitely see that energy. Um, some of you guys have been feeling a little bit depressed or bored with your work. And I see kind of a change in your attitude coming because it seems like there's some type of new project that you're gonna to get to embark on. So this could be offered to you through your job, through your career, um, or it could be you deciding to kind of start some type of side hustle. I feel like this, I, this if in, those of you guys going after the side hustle, this might be an idea you've started on or you've already made a vision board for or that you had a long time ago and all of a sudden there's this spark of inspiration and you just kind of go for it again. And this makes sense because at the time that I'm doing this reading, it's Mercury retrograde. Now this is a timeless reading, so you know if you're finding this when it's not Mercury retrograde or weeks or months or even years after I've recorded this, it still applies. But for those of you who are finding this reading kind of you know within a week or two of me posting it, it's Mercury retrograde and it's very often that during Mercury retrograde, you're gonna go back to like ideas you've had in the past and you'll wanna plan and get all the details sorted out. And the, mer the energy of Mercury retrograde is actually really great for that. And I'm feeling that vibe personally right now. Like I wanna go back and and do, um, you know, some some work that I kind of gave up on a couple months ago. So I see that for, for you guys. And I, the message is to follow that intuition because there's a lot of pentacles in there for you, okay? Now, those of you guys who are in a relationship, this isn't for everyone, but you could right now be wondering if your relationship is really practical or if, if it's really not what it seems. Because sometimes in our head and in our mind, we can think of our relationship one way, but the truth and the reality of it, once you really ground yourself, is completely different. So you might be looking at the facts in your relationship. You might be looking at like what's happened and realizing that this isn't what you want, okay? You might realize this isn't the lifestyle I wanna live with this person. This isn't what I wanna choose anymore. So there, that, there's this caught in this web, feeling kind of scared, trapped, you know, thinking about making another decision in love, um, which I don't see that decision being made right now. I just see this being a thought process, okay? Emotionally, you could be feeling a little off balance because you feel like you want to change things right now. You feel the necessity of needing to implement changes, but you don't want to lead the safety or security of what you've already established. I kind of get this vision of someone who's just been living in a certain place, has a certain job, but just knows that there's something more for them out there or they want to have another experience, but they've worked years to get where they're at and they don't want to leave that behind. So it's almost like you're burying this down, you're hiding it from yourself that you don't want this change. And I know what this is like because I worked in a job for 13 years. I had this little apartment and I had some nice friends and I lived in a cute neighborhood and I could it just, you know, I had this nice life and I just thought, wow, I'm really living the life here. And over the course of a couple years, I started feeling like this isn't me, this isn't what I want. And I tried different things like going to college and trying, you know, doing just certain art projects and stuff. And I feel like a lot of it was like a distraction. And I remember this one day that I just broke down and started crying and was like, this is not the life I wanna live anymore. And it was almost like I got the rug pulled out from underneath me. Like I realized almost overnight, this isn't what I want. And so I kind of wrestled with that for a while because I knew it was gonna be really uncomfortable. I, My intuition was telling me it's time to move somewhere. It's time to go be 
uh, a small fish in a big pond rather than a big fish in a small pond. Time to start something over. But I was terrified because I'd never really moved outside of my small town. I'd, I'd never really like been on my own. I hadn't been to a job um, interview in 13 years. I, I didn't know if I had what it takes. I mean, I had so many anxieties and so many worries. So for years, I kind of just like rustled and went back and forth until my situation got so painful and so boring and so dull that I, I, it became more painful for me to stay where I was than it was for me to just go and try something new. So it's very possible that could happen to some of you guys. Sometimes when you're being called to grow and move, sometimes suffering oftentimes is what creates change in our lives. So there's a message for you, don't wait for that. Like if you're getting that message, it's time to go, it's time to move, whether it's physically or just metaphorically moving forward, changing something up, especially career money wise because these are pentacles here it's really you know maybe organize your thoughts journal research ease yourself into this change you don't have to make it overnight but if there's a side of you that's telling you i want something more then then start looking for it you know and realize you have options you have the ability to create change and to create the life that you want okay now it's important to to learn how to oh sorry it's important to learn how to feel content no matter where you're at in life there you know on the other side if you're always creating change and always never able to stay consistent or stable in your life or build something that's lasting then that's a, a message of like you're looking for something outside of yourself i know um that sometimes that can that can be a little kind of toxic energy in your life but it's a balance you know it's a balance you know so search for that balance um, you're making a really big positive impact on other people right now in your life, okay? Um, I definitely feel this energy of, hmm, there's a, there's, there is finances coming in, okay? There is, things are flowing, but I just see a lot more for you out there, something big. You might be realizing that this work venture that you're in right now is only gonna go so far. You might be disappointed because when you got into the situation, you thought there was so much potential and this is the path, but the reality of it is kind of setting in right now. This could also be happening in love. The reality of your love situation is kind of setting in right now, okay? But I do see new beginnings coming, a new project, a new venture, uh, for some of your ideas, like getting the right people to back you, um, you know, perhaps for some people, new relationships. Um, and I see that. I see a lot of success, you know, you being praised for your skills, being recognized for them, your ability to make a difference in the lives of other people. Um, and so, yeah, I see some good things coming in. So what is some guidance for you at this time in your life? Some guidance for you. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that you're feeling like your circumstances might not change for the better, but they will. You, you might not feel, you might feel like you're not equipped to change these conditions around you on your own. And the truth is that you do need to look for assistance. You do need to look for other people who have experience or you do need to ed educate yourself or, or kind of research or gain some knowledge um, that's gonna help you forward. This is saying that you, you will be happily and successfully self-employed. You will reap the rewards of your hard work. You know, This also is saying opposing goals arising from differing opinions feeling at odds with yourself or others. This might be happening in a relationship or in work right now. So there's a strong message for you. Don't try to force things right now, but also don't wait for things to change, okay? What is needed is a plan. It's like you need to make a plan. You need to get real with what it is that you want. You know, be like strong enough to admit that to yourself that like I do want some things to change and kind of make a plan make a vision board or make a list or do some journaling, do some writing and kind of figure out like where you're at, 
what you want. And once you set those intentions, oh, things are going to move forward. And actually, funny enough, that was the message of the day. On the day that I'm posting this, this is a timeless message once again, but I posted this message that said, um, don't be surprised by how fast the universe moves forward once you make up your mind. So it's like you need to make up your mind. Should I stay? Should I go? That seems to be what's in question here. Um, this is saying if you kind of sit tight right now, you're going to get help. You're going to find the right path. This is telling you don't try to move forward right now. Don't try to change things right now. Kind of wait it out just a little bit. Take some time to make up your mind. Okay? So, yeah. This is saying reach out to other people. Looking for a mentor or a tutor or a coach or an advisor or for um, education, whether it's traditional education out of school or it's an uh, online course or just finding information through books and taking notes or information from inside of you like journaling, um, you know, getting the knowledge, figuring out what tools, materials, supplies that you need and then moving from that space. So I hope that this reading resonates with you. Thank you so much for your support. For coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. All right, so for those of you guys who choose number four, we have the four of wands. Four, four, that's so interesting. So the number four has uh, basically has to do with fruition, manifesting something, um, having a space in your life where things can grow. Okay, so where are you at right now? You're manifesting. You're in a huge manifestation kind of portal right now, which is really amazing. So your focus right now is on experiences. You're at this place in your life where you really want to bring in new experiences. You want to have as many experiences as you, as you can. Doing something for the sake of the experience. So you might not be as focused right now on like building your wealth or on, you know, uh, getting some type of foundation set. It, it might be more just on having experiences, having fun, connecting with others, you know, not to say that you don't think those other things are important, but this is what's, imp this is what's important to you right now. Um, so relationships, communication, participating. Uh, participation, um, a quest for enlightenment in your life or finding your truth, the self-discovery, taking trips, uh, traveling. This could be what you're focused on right now, what's really appealing to you. You might be feeling kind of like you want to quit or you want to give up. There's this energy of just like, I quit, I give up. So some of you guys might have just quit a job or might have just dropped out of school or might have just like let go of the lease on your apartment or might have just broken up with someone. It seems like something happened, like you just gave up on something and you just like, I'm done, I'm done with this. I don't feel like that was a bad energy at all. Like this is where you're at. It's kind of, it's kind of a sad energy, but it's also empowering. It's like a sad, like, I just wanna give up on life. But I don't know, I love that quote from Fight Club that says, it's not until you lose everything that you're free to do anything. There's like this shedding process. So maybe some of you guys just like sold your car, sold your house, and now you're going to hit the road. Or it's that kind of energy, you know, maybe quite literally or just metaphorically. Um, romance is hard right now. You know, you're probably a little disappointed. You know, dates could be canceled. There could just be nothing coming through right now. People who are wishy-washy, hot and cold with you. Um, but that could be because there's like a space for self-discovery. I feel someone who's single, independent, finding themselves, you know, um, it's kind of like this YOLO energy and it's a fun time. It can be a fun time, but some of you guys might not be having luck in love. Um, however, there could be an old friend, an old friend of yours, just platonic, who could call you or hit you up or text you, slide into your DMs unexpectedly to rekindle a friendship or even someone who is a an past lover of yours could try to hit you up like when you least expect it. Um, you're very protective right now. You're protecting your energy. You know, you're, you, you're not going to let anybody put you in a vulnerable position right now. If you're living 
in a home with other people or with parents or something like that, family, you could be feeling really irritated, um, feeling like everybody's dumping their crap on you, feeling like arguing with the people around you or like, there's just this need for you to be alone, to get space, you know? I see somebody who's just in a car driving somewhere and just on a road trip or getting space or, or just, you know, being free, being alone, being independent. That energy is so strong around you right now. Um, I definitely see travel. I definitely see travel. You're either planning this, you're thinking about this, or you're doing this, or you have been doing this for a lot of you guys. Obviously I'm biased because I love travel, but I literally see this for you. Um, Work and career doesn't seem like there's much going on right now. You could be frustrated or irritated by your job, button heads with somebody, you know. If you are in a relationship, you could be feeling like you want space. For some of you guys, this is positive because you have a partner that just like is totally chill with that and you can get your space, do your thing. It might not be a time where you're exceptionally close to your partner, but it's like chill. Um, I see that for a lot of people. I feel like social energy is so strong. Like right now, social outings, connecting with friends, reconnecting with friends, reconnecting with loved ones is gonna be so important for you right now. I see a lot of that in your life. Social outings, going to parties or connecting with people. And my party, I don't mean a rager. It could just be like a hangout or someone's birthday. Or, you know, or for some of you guys, it could be going to the club or whatever, you know, whatever way you look at it, going out right now is really good for you. Um, I definitely see family problems, fights, upheaval, upheavals, but I see things kind of working out. You could be feeling a little tense or anxious or irritated right now. Um, I know this might not sound very positive, but it's funny because I feel a really lighthearted energy from this card, almost like you all this energy around you is kind of pushing you back into yourself to like go out and find freedom. Finding freedom, feeling free is so important. Like finding a way for you to find peace in your life and happiness and fun in your life, despite whatever's going on around you could be really good for you right now. Um, and I don't see this as like running away from problems. Maybe some people might think that's what you're doing, but doesn't matter what other people think like sometimes you literally have to follow your heart and just let go of what's going on in your head and I wouldn't give that advice to anyone but that's that's kind of what this card is about okay now with your finances right now your income could be coming in just like small chunks um like chunks and you might actually do a lot better than you you might think so I don't know if your income's coming in like consistently, but you're getting chunks here and there. I see this message about using some of those chunks to get out there and travel, have fun, okay? You might not really feel like you can make commitments at this time in your life right now, whether, whether that's love or whether that's to like, a friend tells you be here at this time, you could be late, or if it's to some type of program you wanna enter into, um, or it's a job, like commitments could just be rough right now because your life is just so up and down and, and not in a bad way, it's just you're more focused on experience. So it's not like you wanna work hard right now. You just, I kind of see this energy to figure out as far as your income finances goes, figure out a way to just do what you can and give what you can financially so, and put your energy into experiences right now. Follow this impulse, even if it doesn't seem very responsible. There could be people around you who think this is irresponsible, but it's almost like you need to have this experience. If you are, especially in your 20s, okay? And if you're in 50s, 30s, 40s, whatever, 60s, 80s, then this is still a message for you, but especially if you're in your 20s, this is the time of your life where you can get by by taking risks. You can quit a job and travel for three months and then get another one. You know, at some point you're gonna, you know, have to figure out what you're gonna do and get a foundation, but you have time still. And if you're not feeling like you wanna make a commitment or you don't know what to do yet, you don't know what you want, maybe you just need to get out and have experiences and like see the world and figure out what you want. That could be really, really important. Um, so you might feel a little disorganized right now. You might not be able to start something new, but 
I kind of feel like you need to detach yourself from things, from problems, free yourself from obligations right now so you have that freedom you need. And from that place, you'll be able to collect your thoughts and you'll be able to implement some new action for you to kind of get grounded and move forward, okay? Um, I see success for a lot of you guys with work that has to deal with communications or teaching, lecturing, or something more public because um, you're really good in groups of people. Most of you guys, not everyone here. Okay, so <clears throat> it, you might even be figuring kind of what you believe, right? Now, figuring out what you will believe right now spiritually or what's important to you. So, wow, a lot going on. Um, let's get some advice for you on this path and in this situation. Okay, so we are seeing, first of all, this message to manage your resources wisely. Like if you're going to do some traveling right now, you might not want to stay in the five-star hotels. You might want to look into hostels or splitting the cost with a group of friends or something like that. That kind of energy. You, you, this is not a time to be collecting material possessions because you might have to get rid of a lot of things anyways because um, your life right now is so transient. I would not be buying large pieces of equipment or anything that you can't fit in a little suitcase or a box or something. Um, it, it's like this energy of packing light, traveling light, like don't acquire too many possessions right now. Spend your money more on experiences. Um, I definitely see... There is, of course, a struggle trying to keep to get things accomplished, trying to meet obligations. Um, and you're, you you want to run, you want to quit, you, you know, you want to just kind of run away from the issues. Um, but actually, funny enough, that might be the best way to deal with this situation. I'm, I'm, t I'm kind of feeling this energy of take the path of least resistance. If you feel a lot of resistance right now to studying or to having a job, a specific job or to doing a certain thing, then don't do it. You need to be smart. You need to, to use your logic. You need to figure out like how you're going to support yourself and what to have these experiences and do the things that you want. But as much as you can right now, give in to yourself, trust yourself, allow yourself to do what you want just for a little while, even if it's a month or two or a year or a little while, like I just kind of feel this message like you have time and you need to kind of pull back a little bit. Don't force yourself to do something or live a lifestyle you don't want to, you know? Now, with every action, there's consequences. With every action, there's blessings and there's lessons. So keep in mind that if you decide to just up and quit your job or something like that, that you might struggle, you know, a little bit. If you decide that you're not going to study, then you, your path later on might be harder because you might have to work harder to establish yourself, to market yourself or whatever. But at least for right now, there's this message to just kind of pull back and do give your heart what it needs. Give your soul what it needs. Feed your soul. Feed your heart. Um, and give yourself time to think. And from that space, then you'll come up with a plan. It's like you need to come back to a neutral energy to, to, to come up with the plan. Okay? Um... This is saying like you're not quitting, but you're allowing yourself to engage even more and participate even more in your life and in your truth. And there's this message like you're gonna be learning a lot that the universe does know what it's doing, that you do know what you're doing. So, wow, I hope that that message resonated with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Just gonna shout out again for you. Wow.